So, as you know on this channel, by the way, shout out to us hitting 6,000 subscribers. Appreciate every one of you guys. You guys mean absolutely the world to me. But, as you know on this channel, I'm not against the idea of admitting when I'm wrong. I do it a lot, actually. <laughs> Very honest about being when I'm wrong. Nonetheless, though, I was... Listen, okay? I'm never going to go against or be happy with us cutting players that I love. I love T. Higgins. He's going to be traded. I love Joe Mixon. He got cut. I'm never going to be proactive about those things and be like, Oh, yeah, this was good, blah, blah, blah. Because I don't want to lose any guy that, you know, I love being on this team. And guess what? I love all 53 players on our team. So, earlier I made a video about Joe Mixon getting cut. And, yeah, I was very upset during the video. And I was talking a lot more with feelings than I was with actual statistics slash truth. And after calming down a little bit, understanding it is what it is, and kind of moving on with everything, I would make this video because I was very disrespectful towards Zach Moss in that video, and I was wrong. I shouldn't have been as disrespectful as I was. Zach Moss is an amazing running back, and... I guess I was just caught up in the fact that we didn't sign Austin Eckler or Saquon Barkley or any of these other big name running backs. Um, maybe not Saquon. Saquon got a bag. But Austin Eckler got like I think seven million per year for two years, which is three more million than what Zach Moss got. So I was kind of caught up in that and I was kind of just upset in the moment, okay? I was talking with feelings and we all do it from time to time where we get upset and things are just set out of context and set, set out of the character. Let's talk about this then. Zach Moss is our new running back number two, or as someone said down below, running back by committee, which is very possible. By the way, we use a running back by committee here, but he is a running back number two. Now, who is Zach Moss? What? Who is this guy, right? He is an amazing, amazing pass blocker. Well, not that amazing, but he's when you compare him to Joe Mixon, he is amazing, okay? So, for example, let me go ahead and show you down this. And he's also a great pure runner of the football, just an in-between-the-tackles type of guy. He's a monster. Um, pass blocking 60.4, 62.3. And 78.9. He had one year where he was a little off of 36.6. But this guy is an absolute animal. And he played for Buffalo for two and a half years. I say two and a half because he actually went to the Colts. He got traded with uh, um, the Keen Hines. And they did like a package deal where they traded over. But you got to keep in mind, this guy played for Josh Allen, right? And if you know anything about Josh Allen, Josh Allen runs the ball himself. He does not hand the ball off. It's just not in his cards. It's not in his repertoire. So, Zach Moss, he was also in a running back by committee over there um, in, what's called, in Buffalo. But his job when he was on the field was mainly to pass block. To just hold his block, you know, protect Josh Allen, let Josh Allen be Josh Allen. And he did it, bar none, not the most perfect way possible, but a, you know, a 78.9 his rookie year with Josh Allen. Then, uh, second year, 36.6. Again, like I said, outlier year. When you look at the rest of the years and how good he was at 62.3 and a 60.4. When you compare that to Joe Mixon and his path blocking grades, it's through the roof better. Joe Mixon, 29.7. 38.1, 31.5, 60.6, and so on, so on. And we saw so many times last year when offensive line was a problem or issue or something was going on that we had to put Joe Mixon in the middle to pass block. We had to. And yeah, it was a mess. So this is a huge, humongous upgrade when it comes to pass blocking running backs. 
Now, also in between the rushing or in between the tackles, he's also a really good running back. But if you look at Chase Brown right here, 26.7. Um, and then obviously Travion. Why did we bring back Travion Williams, you ask? That's why. That's why we bought back Travion Williams. The guy can pass block. The guy is a pass blocking uh, genius, I'll say. In Again, yes, you got to keep in mind he has had very limited snap counts because he hasn't been on the field that much, especially last year. But when he is on the field, he knows how to pass block, and he's pretty damn good at doing it. Joe Mixon cannot do that. He's not good at pass blocking. Now, Joe Mixon is also a better receiving back than Zach Moss, but also Zach Moss really never got the opportunity to as much. He was a running back by committee back when he was with Buffalo, and even in the Colts before Jonathan Taylor came back in the league, or sorry, came back from injury, he was second, second in the league rushing. And again, like I said, I owe an apology to Zach Moss because I was a little bit, you know, too too angry about the releasing of Joe Mixon, and I didn't really think clearly here. And again, yes, I said, I thought more with emotions than I did with my actual, like, uh, like facts and opinions. Um, which, again, like I said, I will always admit when I'm wrong. It, it is what it is, you know. Sometimes when I give my live reactions or my first reactions things, I, I'm going to give them my heart, man. I wear my heart my sleeve. No. Um, but, yeah, no, overall-wise, you look at last year, 84.7, 83.2, 80.9, 83.7, 77.6, seven. Like, this guy is a pass blocker. Yeah, he can run in between the tackles. He can be a third down and short type of guy. He can just push his way forward because he is five foot nine, but this guy's 205 pounds. Like, he, he can he can be a bowling ball. He can be a bowling ball up the middle. Third round draft pick, uh, he was by the Buffalo Bills. He is only 27 years old as well. He's younger than Joe Mixon, which is nice. But yeah, no, overall wise, and then all the fumbling grades, they're not bad. Last year, keep in mind again, outlier years. I would say Buffalo for the most part is outlier years. Fumbling grade 90.6 for him. 91.3 for Joe Mixon. So very similar fumbling grades. We got younger and we also got cheaper. Um... I love Joe Mixon. And I'm not going to sit here and say that Zach Moss, signing Zach Moss and cutting Joe Mixon was the best idea ever. I will say I have faith in Katie Blackburn and Duke Tobin and Zach Taylor to do the correct job and get the correct job done. And I will always have faith in them. If they think this is the best idea, this is the best idea. Um, we do save money and we get ourselves a really, really good running back. So tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.